Good morning, Bethlehem. I am so elated to have our very own Jamie Victoria Williams Smith. She's got some stuff to tell us about herself, and we are so proud of her. Jamie is one of our junior deaconesses here, and she has served this church faithfully when she was here before she went off to college and started doing all these wonderful things. Bethlehem, give a round of applause for our very own Jamie Williams. Jamie, thank you so much for doing this interview today. I am so elated to see your beautiful face and we keep hearing more and more great things about you. First, <laughs> tell me about this book that you've written. Yes, um, so over winter break, I guess in December, January, I had some free time. So I sat down and made, I looked up and like looked at some TikToks of people making coloring books. And they said, like, it was fairly easy. Just use this website called Canva. Um, so I got on there, learned how to do it. It was fairly easy. Um, but, like, I learned a new skill. I learned how to publish it via Amazon. Um, so, yeah, it was just a coloring book. I decided to do something simple, easy, quick for the younger generation. And, yeah, at first I didn't want to really publicize it or tell anyone about it. Um, but, of course, my grandparents told everyone about it. Um, so, yeah, I'm really thankful and blessed for all the support and everyone who purchased the book I really didn't expect to I've sold over a hundred copies and I didn't really plan for that so that's been great wow over a hundred copies and the best is yet to come and I love yeah. that you say you gained a new skill set because that means mm -hmm. that God can keep growing us we never stop learning and this just added another little stream of income and that's helpful to you mm -hmm. as a college student right Yes, definitely, because I don't work during the school year. So it's definitely something to do on the side as like a hobby. Exactly. Jamie, tell us all what school you are attending, what year you are in, and what's happening on campus for you. I've heard some great things. Definitely. So I go to the University of Miami. I am a junior there in the business school, and I was recently elected the student body president for the 2022 to 2023 school year. Yes, and we are so proud of you. Oh Thank my you. goodness. I, first of all, when you say junior, I cannot believe it because I feel like just yesterday I was at your graduation party and now <laughs> you're actually a junior. Jamie, you are student body president. What gave you the unction to say, you know, this is something I want to do? What was it? That's a great question. I pondered over that a lot because I felt like it kept coming back to me someone brought it up to me saying you should run I was like no no I don't want to do this like I don't think I should be president and then it kept, came back to me again and like I thought about it and it kept coming back to me my friends and family kind of kept feeding into me that like you should run like you're you're a great leader you should really consider this um sometimes I tend to second guess myself so I think it's really like my friends and people around me ultimately pushed me to run and kind of spoke that like life into me to run um and I felt like it was God that kept bringing it back to me like I didn't just shut it down once it was a few couple times that it came back to me and said you should run you should run um and I was scared I really had to step out um put my faith over my fear because it's it's a lot to put yourself out there in front of the entire student body um have your face on a banner in front of like the classrooms and be handing out palm cards um in the middle of campus so it's a lot to I guess, talk to every student, put your face out there, put your initiatives out there for everyone, I guess, to have an opinion on and have an opinion on you. So it was a challenging experience mentally, emotionally, physically, because um, we were campaigning from 10 to four, almost two weeks. So it was a lot, but I think it kept coming back to me because God was sending it back into my life. And then I really had to step out on faith um, and put myself out there to the entire student body. And it was a rewarding experience. I learned a lot. I worked really hard and didn't know the outcome of something. Um, and I think that's something to go through in life. You can work really hard and be working towards this big thing, but don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, so I'm lucky it turned out well. I actually won by 50.66% um, by honestly just a couple votes. So I think it is a godsend opportunity. It absolutely is. I can't tell you. Madison was rooting for you. I was praying for you. We would lock hands and pray and believe uh -huh. God. 
So we are just so extremely proud of you. And we as your church family are so extremely proud of you. Can you tell me any of your leadership skills have that you learned at Bethlehem? Have you been able to implement those leadership skills in college? Have you seen the bridge where the two have met? Yes, uh, I'll speak about two experiences. Um, I guess like one being a junior deaconess um, and really, I guess, Sometimes when I'm asked to like do the prayer, you really got to just put yourself out there. Um, I became a junior deaconess in high school, maybe my sophomore, junior year. I was really young, so I had to like go out there, say the prayer by myself. I was a little younger, so I was nervous. Um, so I think that's one of the experiences. And then also growing up when I was in middle school and elementary school, I was a joy dancer. Um, and that was started at a young age that was kind of a nervous experience I remember having those like anxious jitters when I was younger to get out there and dance in front of everyone um but I think those are some experience that kind of like helped me lean into discomfort and really get out of my comfort zone and do something maybe I'm not fully comfortable with that I know um will benefit me and that will be a good experience for me to grow as a person I love that. I love your answers. I, it, this is the adult, Jamie, and I am so, <laughs> so loving talking to you this way. What are yeah. your future hopes and endeavors? Where do you want to go after you finish um, school, after this season of school? Are you going to grad school? What do you see yourself doing? So that's a great question. This summer, I will be interning at Deloitte doing strategy consulting in New York. Um, hopefully after I graduate, that is where I will see, receive a full-time offer from and do some consulting for a few years. Ultimately, I do see myself uh, not working like a nine to five, but owning like a couple businesses and being more of a managerial role. Um, a recent interest of mine is real estate. So I've kind of been watching a lot of real estate videos on YouTube and I started saying this, like I, I think it's really, it really is a dream of mine to own a black woman brokerage. Um, and I've been looking into real estate in Tampa. So that's been kind of exciting, maybe where I wanna take my life, but for right now, I'm consulting and hopefully consulting when I graduate. Wow, I am so proud <laughs> of you. Just the fact that you said that in a black woman brokerage, if yes. anyone can do it, I know you can. And believe me, I will be praying for you. Thank I'm you. <laughs> enamored with you, Jamie. Can you tell me what role does God play in all the wonderful things that you're doing? What role does God play in your life right now? Yeah, I think God plays a really big role um, because I think I've learned since my senior year of high school and like applying that I need to trust in him and that it's not my plan and that it's God's plan. And I know there's this, there's this quote that says, when you make plans, God laughs at them. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really re relevant to my life right now because I never really thought, I didn't come into the University of Miami saying, I'm going to be the student body president. I'm going to be the next president. Um, my freshman year, honestly, I wasn't involved in student government. I took the more um, business leadership route, got involved in like a business fraternity um, and became like a teacher's assistant for the business school. So I didn't necessarily see it, um, but I think God had it planned out and mapped out for me, even though I didn't. I love that. And that's that just hearing from God and knowing that his plans are always greater and bigger than what we can even imagine. Exactly. What advice would you give to the, your teens here that are struggling or maybe wondering if college is a choice for them or when they get to college, what advice would you give to them just becoming a freshman? Because we've got a large demographic of our kids are graduating this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right now is a hard time because we're leaning. We're still in COVID. We're kind of coming out of COVID. It's this weird gray area. Um, so right now the advice I would give is one, stay true to yourself, stay true to your interests, stay true to your passions, stay true um, for what you feel is right in your heart. Um, if you feel like college is the right choice for you, then definitely apply, put yourself out there, even to the schools that may not um, have your GPA listed or have your ACT or SAT score listed. Um, I know when I applied to University of Miami, I did not know I didn't even look at the stats. I kind of just applied because I got waitlisted for one of my favorite schools. So I was sending my application out everywhere. Um, but if I had looked at the stats, maybe I wouldn't have applied because my standardized test score was lower than their average. 
Um, so yeah, just stay true to yourself, put yourself out there for those opportunities. And two, I guess don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to apply for a position, um, put yourself in a leadership position, challenge yourself, because I, I truly believe like if it's meant for you, it'll be for you. Um, that's something I had to keep reminding myself during my campaign season and now my presidency that if it's meant for me, God got me to it, he'll get me through it. So yeah, those two things. Absolutely. Such beautiful and heartfelt um, answers and uh, encouragement for the younger generation coming behind you. I'm very appreciative of that. And I know that they will be too. Now I've got some quick fire questions for you. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite part. Okay. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Starbucks or Dunkin'? Starbucks. Yes, yeah, Starbucks. <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Favorite color? Black. Favorite season? Fall. Favorite book that you've read? Hmm. Relationship Goals by Mike Todd. I knew you would have had a book because that's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> now, the person that inspires you the most, your favorite person? That is a great question. Um, I don't want to be stereotypical, but I'll say my mom because um, she's just been pushing me since I was a young age to really challenge myself, put myself in different spaces so I can have different opportunities. So I think I am the way I am because of her, um, because of how hard she pushes me and encourages me to do better, be better, and just want the best for myself. Absolutely. Mama Miranda is a blessing. <laughs> Yes. I'm blessed to call her mom. And I yes. thank God for her allowing us to share in your journey, Jamie. We wish you nothing but God's highest and best blessings. Look out for a package coming from Bethlehem with your award and everything from us and a special gift. We love you and we thank God for you. Bethlehem, please give a warm round of applause for our very own Jamie Victoria William Smith. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie. God bless you. Thank you. you. And guess what? We'll be seeing you soon the next time you come and worship with us. Yes, I'll be back this summer. So All looking right. forward to it. We'll be seeing you then, sweetheart. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Of course, of course. Thank you.